Hi, this is Peter Schlegel from Wild Cornell Medicine, and I'll be presenting the Male Infertility Guideline Summary in a plenary session. During this plenary session, we'll go over the 52 guideline statements that provide special emphasis on the use of counseling for men with male infertility. Male infertility is not just a disease by itself, but it has other health implications, and that's part of what the guidelines overview. It's also going to talk about evaluation for right varicoceles. In the past, men would typically have abdominal imaging for right varicoceles. The indications for that are now limited and specified. We're also going to talk about the role of varicocele repair in management of male infertility and the role of adjunctive treatments for management of men with the most severe forms of male infertility, such as non-obstructive azospermia. We're also going to talk about the surgical treatment for non-obstructive azospermia, microtessi. Finally, we're going to provide new clinical guidelines for management of men who are undergoing cancer therapy or recovering after cancer therapy.